Kerala Assembly's 63-year-old history, no single legislator's vote has counted as much as that of former Speaker A.C. Joseph's in 1982. As Speaker, his casting vote that he exercised eight times was what helped the K. Karunakaran government stay in power for nearly three months. It all began with the fall of the E.K. Nainar-led communist government in 1981. Nainar had formed his government with the help of A.K. Antony, a friend turned foe of former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. 21 MLAs of the Congress United, led by Antony, and 8 MLAs of the Mani faction of Kerala Congress helped Nainar form his government. But soon, both these factions withdrew their support and Nainar was forced to step down in October 1981. Then, after two months of uncertainty, an eight-member ministry was formed in December with Congress's Karunakaran at the helm. But even Karunakaran could not muster a comfortable majority. In fact, the assembly was split in the middle with 70 members supporting the opposition CPIM and 70 others supporting the ruling Congress. Only one vote could shift the balance, A.C. Joseph. Joseph was a loyalist of the A.K. Antony faction. By exercising his vote eight times, he helped the government stay afloat for three months. So crucial was Joseph's vote for the government's survival that the national media termed him the casting speaker and his vote the casting vote. The opposition even attempted to remove Joseph from the equation by moving a resolution in March 1982 calling for the removal of the speaker. But even this move could not muster the required majority. The deadlock finally came to an end when Lonap and Nambadin, a founder member of the Kerala Congress, then allied with the ruling UDF, voted against the government. On 17th March 1982, the Karunakaran government resigned and the assembly was dissolved. The state then came under president's rule, forcing an interim election. Reporting for the News Minute, this is Sridevi Jairajan.